Hey everyone, thanks for joining. I'm so glad you're here. Very excited about today's video because I'm collaborating with the wonderful Yoda from Yoda Style. When she did her recent unboxing of the Souffle BB, I was so excited because I knew that my bag, which was going, which was very similar, was on the way to me. I had just ordered the Palace or the Pala BB and she was unboxing her Souffle BB and I was like, oh my gosh, the my bag is like the little sister to her bag. So this is the Palace BB. I am so excited to, to get this bag. It's taken me a while to land on it, to be honest. The um, One of the first videos I did on my channel about two months ago was trying out the Palace small crossbody. It was one of the employee versions. And I was so taken with the monogram and black leather together. And that's why I had uh, bought it from Fashion File. But it was just, it was just too small for me. And then I remember talking on that video about how I was contemplating the palace clutch. I, mean, I knew that would be a little bit bigger, but I didn't want, you know, the chain. And anyway, I just never could find the wherewithal to actually try that bag. And then, and then finally, I decided let's just go a step up in size and try the BB. And I am so glad I did because um, from my first impressions here, this seems to be a Goldilocks bag for me. Anyway, it's not too big. It's not too small. It's like just right. It's because it still works for me, a crossbody. It, it's like a small crossbody, not a teeny tiny small crossbody, but it still works and feels comfortable for me crossbody. And anyway, I'm just, I'm just delighted with it. So I want to share, I want to share with you my first impressions of this bag. And I don't know why it took me so long to find it, but I sure am glad I did. I got it on the real real. It was, by the time I found it, it was already um, like a 10% off. So it just been hanging around for a while and I was, I was ready to snatch it up. So here's a closer look at the bag with the beautiful monogram and black leather accents. And like Yoda's bag, it has a similar size with the black leather panels on the side and the canvas folded over. The front and the back look exactly the same. It's symmetric mirror image on the front and the back. That's why I needed to put a charm on it so that I could remember like which side would be the front side for me when I go to find things. And then here, here's the bottom of the bag with the feet. And I really like how it has this little a glimpse of the black leather here and it has this little exterior pocket here with the magnet you can see I've got my phone my phone case down in here already um, that keeps that together in the same pocket here on the back side of the bag and then in the the main interior pocket it's just black so I, I don't know if the natural light will catch and I don't know if you're even interested in seeing the black, <laughs> a black hole of a bag there, but there's one slip pocket on the back. It's a very soft, like micro suede um, interior fabric. And one of the things that I noticed right away that I thought was cool was that this fabric is like, you can bring this out. And you know what I mean when you get your crumbs, the crumbs come in there. And so it's like shakeable. You can get your crumbs out like that. So. I really appreciate that. While the fabric is pulled out here, I'll show you the, the tag. I really love like just the, the size of this bag. Like I said, it's, for me, it's not too big, not too small. The dimensions are uh, 10 inches wide, seven inches tall, three inches deep. Yoda's bag is just a little bit bigger in dimensions. Um, her, one of the differences I'm sure you'll, you've will you already seen, if you, you probably already watched her video, is that she has this the black leather coming down from the straps going down on the bag, which I think is also really beautiful. And her bag has a black leather strap instead of the canvas, which honestly I would prefer because this canvas strap is just a little bit hard. I mean, I think it looks nice when you wear it. You have that little flex of the monogram here, but I know a leather strap would be much more supple and I think comfortable on the shoulder. So that's why I did pick one up from Dress Up Your Purse and I'll show it to you on um, both ways so that you can see the differences. But yeah, I've been enjoying wearing it with the black strap and you know, this was, this was very affordable. So 
yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Going back to the canvas strap here for one second. One thing that is nice about the design of the canvas strap is that the middle section of the canvas strap is wider than the end section. Here you can see the width of the end next to the width of the middle section here. So it tapers down um, to get smaller where it attaches to your bag and it's wider up here where it would be on your shoulder. So that is a nice design element here on the canvas strap. So far when I've been using this bag, there, there's only two possible cons that I can think of that I don't just absolutely love. One is that canvas strap and the second is that it's a black interior. Like, you know, it's just easier to find things when you look down and there's a colored interior. So I've been using this little insert that I got, got off of Amazon here. It's working perfectly fine. And it, it's not, you know, the brightest color, but I didn't want to disrupt too much the color scheme that goes here. So I'll put it in now and show you how that looks. Here's what it looks like now with that organizer now down inside the bag. So you can see it just gives a little bit of contrast against that black. It just helps me see easier where the things are inside. Because the bag is symmetrically designed with the same features on the front and the back, I think it would be easy to kind of lose track as to what's in what, what pocket. So that's why I did put a charm on one side of the bag so I could remember which would be the front and I can always remember where my phone is. So speaking of that, the size of this phone case is six and a half inches long by three and a half inches tall. So just to give you some perspective in case you're curious to know if your phone case would fit inside this pocket. I think most phones would fit in there without any difficulty. I just wanna show you what I was carrying earlier today. I had a little lip gloss and I just put that in a side pocket of the organizer just throw my key fob down in the bottom. I've just recently moved into my new, uh, new to me, uh, Fendi wallet. Uh, I just showed this recently on my, the real, real haul. So if you'd like to check that out, I can link that video down below. I have this de-chained mini pochette. I actually like not having the chain on there when I have a sort of small, you know, small ish bag. That way the chain doesn't get caught or wrapped around other things. So now you can see all those little things are in there. And then right on top, because I was out with my boys earlier today, um, we didn't need this snack, but I had it there just in case. In case you're new here, I have boys, twin, twin boys, they're four. So, you know, keeping a snack at all times is very important. I mostly had the sunnies on my head, but I did go indoors for a few minutes and they can fit right there on top. So now you can see we're all zipped up and full and I'll put the straps back on and show you what it looks like crossbody. One of the benefits of getting a replacement strap is that you could get one that is adjustable so that you could make it work exactly for you. The canvas strap that comes with the bag, it's not bad at all. And I don't want to give you the wrong impression that I don't like it. I just do prefer the leather strap a little bit better. It's not adjustable, but as you can see, it hits me just fine. For reference, I am somewhere between 5'3 and 5'4. One of these days, I'll have an accurate measurement for that. But anyway, um, I'm you know fairly petite, and it hits me right there on my hat, my hip, no problem. I do like the fact that for this bag, the the handles can lay down easily, so it just sits right there on my body. The handles don't get in the way. I guess I should also mention, in case you're curious, that this charm came from Coach, and the little uh, attachment feature I got from Dress Up Your Purse and the, the the charm itself like I said came from Coach but it came in a two-piece set like a lock and key together and here's the other part of the set um, but anyway I just thought the black and gold features of that charm went nicely with the black and the black leather and the gold hardware of the bag I'm smitten I really, really love this bag. I just can't believe it took me so long to finally uh, figure out that this might be a good option for me. I can't recommend it highly enough. The only little teeny tiny cons for me after using it recently are the the, the canvas step strap, which is still okay, um, and the black interior, which I can work out fine with an organizer here. So those things are just even very, very small to mention anyway, but I like it. You know, if I had to find something to mention on the cons list, then that would be it. But for me, the pros far outweigh 
any potential cons here. I just think it's a great bag. It's the perfect small, like, you know, not a micro mini, but a small, a small crossbody. And like, yeah, like I'm just, I'm just delighted with it. And I just love these colors together, the monogram and the black. Oh, it's just, it's just great. It's just great. And I know that these bags came in other color combinations with other colored leathers here, which um, oftentimes they, uh, from what I've seen so far, they're just a little bit less expensive. Um, uh, so those could be a little bit more budget, budget friendly if you're looking at those and they could also, you know, bring some color to your life. But this color combination is for me. I love it, love it, love it. Well, anyway, I think I've gushed on, <laughs> gushed on long enough now. So I'll bring this video to a close and I'll say thank you so much to Yoda for inviting me to collaborate with you uh, so that we could discuss our love of these little um, sister bags here. If you haven't already subscribed, now would be a great time to do so uh, because I do suspect that there will be more bags in the future of all different price points because, you know, I just love bags, all bags. And I'd love for you to to come along to see what other bags we might find in the future. I'll see you again here on the next one. You take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.